Hey guys, I am Nana. Today we are going to be watching Unreconciled Stars, which is an older event in Genshin Impact that is not available anymore to play. It was back in the beginning of the game, so obviously I was not playing it. I started playing 3.5. Very excited to check the older event, so yeah, let's get on watching. All right, here we go. Hello, traveler. Hello, you Catherine. You couldn't have come at a better time. What do you mean? Has something bad happened? I'm afraid so. It's quite serious. We need all the help from our adventurers that we can get. Oh, okay. So, I have an extremely urgent commission for you, traveler. What there is the commission? There was a meteor shower last night. The strike zone was very large, covering oh. the entire countryside of Mondstadt and Liyue. This event seems to be more detailed than the most recent ones in like the four point something patches. To be honest. The meteorites seem to harbor a strange power. A power that sends any who touch them into a deep sleep. It's the power the of the abyss. The meteorites <laughs> to be highly dangerous. Hmm. That does sound pretty serious. Truth be told, we have never encountered anything like this before. The Adventurous Guild is currently stretched beyond capacity. We are relying on our members across the land to rally together and support the relief effort at this trying time. I will surely do my One part. Moment. <laughs> Safety must come first. Catherine! Vassal of the Imanacha! Oh, hello! Do mine ears deceive me? Or didst thou cry out mine holy name in earnest supplication not one moment ago? She is the original Farina. Uh, you've arrived. A pleasure to meet you again, Catherine. Uh, did that raven just speak? Man, Paimon's <laughs> voice is so different. Nice to meet you too, my friend. Though I'm sure you must have seen phenomena far stranger than myself before. It's way lower, more my comfortable to hear. Subjects, I see your faces are filled with fear and trepidation at the vile and villainous evils that once again seek, albeit in vain to disturb the peace and tranquility of our beloved Mondstadt. Traveler, oh, Fischl. allow me to introduce Miss Fischl, a senior member of the Adventurers Guild. Hello, it's definitely the first Fischl? time I'm seeing you. Boss? This is the Traveler of whom I have spoken to you previously. Hello. Oh, you are the Traveler? Mm -hmm. One finds the look in your eyes to be most agreeable. Honorary Knight of the Knights of Favonius and Travel Companion Paimon, we are honored to meet you both. We have heard much about you. A traveler, do you also mean to confront these cryptic crystals of darkness and doom? Absolutely. Uh, Chris, cryptic cryptos of doomness and what? I believe that Main Fräulein does indeed refer to the meteorite strike. Mm -hmm. The Adventurous Guild has so far been unable to ascertain the cause of the meteor shower, or the precise side effects of the meteorites. Hence, we recommend that adventurers travel in pairs for safety. Traveler, Fischl, please look out for one another on your journey, and exercise extreme caution at all times. <laughs> Very well, then. You have always been a pious vassal, <laughs> She's Catherine, so dramatic! And thus, I shall acquiesce to your heartfelt plea for mine assistance. It must be tiring to talk Rejoice, like that. Rejoice! For to join the Princess and of Ertelung on her majestic mission for but a fleeting moment is surely cause for an eternity of elation. This young lady is my master, Princess Fischl. She hails from a world beyond known as Ima Nachtreich. I am Main Fräulein's humble familiar, Oz the Raven. Did they ever talk about her wow, world before? In more depth? Very impressive. My name's Paimon, and he's a traveler. We look forward to working with you. Did you say a world beyond? In time, you will understand. The more time you spend with Miss Fischl, the clearer everything will become. Blind to the glory of the Immernachreich, realm of everlasting night. Though one can hardly expect more from a lowly traveler. Damn. Hence, 
It is not blasphemy, but ignorance Lowly. that be the cause of this transgression. One will therefore show clemency. Clemency? Thank you for clemency. Name Fräulein means to say hello. Weird way to say hello. These guys are the weirdest double act Pymans ever seen. You are the weirdest. The girl sounds strange enough as it is, but every time her pet bird talks... It gets even weirder. You're a floating thing flying as well. I am sure that you must well. have many questions. Perhaps we can walk, or indeed fly, and talk. Oh, and that's another thing. What's all this about traveling in pairs? This is clearly a party of four. It's because you don't count, Paimon. You don't do anything. You don't do the fighting, the investigation. We're in Springfield now. Catherine said that this is the closest impact site to the city. The situation looks even worse than we imagined. Yeah, everybody is oh, fainted. Ring the bells. Sound the trumpets. <laughs> for the day of judgment is upon us. Rejoice, all ye who cry out for salvation. For the princess and death of Ertelung has come. This princess lady seems really enthusiastic. She sure does. So what's up with this? Exam the nearby victims. Huh. I mean, it doesn't seem that there's that many victims if there's only three, right? Dear mortals, in this dark hour, your princessin permits you to forego the usual etiquette and simply relay your account of the matter at hand forthrightly. Uh... uh excuse me. Who are you? We come in peace, good sir. We were just hoping that you could reveal whatever you know about this poor victim's situation. Wait, wait! Stop! Let Paimon explain! We're from the Adventurers Guild. They commissioned us to come here and investigate after the meteor shower. Oh, I see. Well, last night this fellow touched the meteorite, and then he fainted just moments later. Hmm. So, however you plan to conduct your investigation, I implore you, do not, under any circumstances, touch the meteorites with your bare hands. It's gonna be fine. We're what special. What ridiculous remonstration is this? Is one not under the divine protection of one's Edelstein or Dunkelheit? <laughs> and thus impervious to the trifling threat posed by this petty piece of black crystal? On the contrary, name Fräulein. Wise is the princess who is receptive to the sound advice offered by her subjects. Is that so? Very well then. One shall proceed as advised. That goes for you too. Wise is the adventurer who is receptive to the sound advice offered by smart people. Yes, Paimon. <laughs> Paimon never gets to talk like that. Oh, Paimon could get used to it, though. I wonder why they, like, made her the voice so high-pitched. Uh, what could one hope to comprehend of the lamenting of a thousand dying worlds with the sagacity of a mere mortal? Does she even know what she's Perhaps talking about? it is better that you remain in blissful ignorance. For the burden of fate borne by the princess and Defa Ertelung would surely be too much for thy shoulders. Please lead the way, oh, fair princess. I don't think Fisho knows what she's talking about, even. Right, to the victim number two. Look, another victim. Pray tell, O oh knight, what tragedy befell this unfortunate subject of mine. Um, he, he's been sleeping all day and shows no signs of waking up. Did he touch the meteorite? He did, and now he's fast asleep. Occasionally, he also sleep talks. About what? <sighs> Can't go on. Need to rest. Uh -uh. What's going on? Why is he saying that? His dark dream harbors a forbidden fruit, poised between the jaws of a ferocious beast. Woe betide the weak should they peer into its eyes, as black as a moonless midnight. For they shall surely be lured into the abyss. Maybe it is truly the abyss. There's something luring him in his dream? Yeah, the abyss. Though we have no <laughs> evidence to prove it, Main Fräulein's intuition has never failed her before. Mm -hmm. Well, let's keep 
keep investigating anyway. To the last victim. Greetings. I am Sister Edna. I am here to nurse the sick. Hello, Sister Edna. State your name at once. Uh, she you already did. Nefarious nightmares? She just did. My apologies. Main Fräulein was not addressing you. This man lying on the ground. Has he spoken at all? I believe he said something about having to get back to work. Hmm. The wine. Uh, the, the wine. So he works in the wine business. He seems to be sleeping deeply indeed. This is no ordinary dream. This can't you just oh. wake him up? They skipped. I've tried. They skipped he free shows for a brief moment, but quickly lapsed back into sleep. Um, did he tell you anything while he was awake? He said he dreamed he was on top of a mountain, and it was very cold there. Mm. Mountain cold. Hmm. Dragon spine. This has the trappings of a cruel. Cold curse by a mountain dwelling demon. Alas, one fears these demons have descended from their icy peaks and now covet the domain of the spring fairy. This is a most grave state of affairs. But fear not, for damnation is mine to dispense. Uh, sorry to interrupt you, folks. Do you have a moment to spare? Oh, that's, um, Fiona's oh, father. Enough. Um, what's the matter? It's... I... I can hardly get the words out. One of the meteorites struck the hill behind our village. Alan told everyone he was going to go see it for himself. And then, sure enough, he just ran off. I mean, let the man do You've whatever he wants. You've seen how want. dangerous these <laughs> confounded meteorites are. I'm afraid something may have happened to him. Could you come with me to find him and bring him back? He knew it was dangerous, so, so let him be. So, big blazing rocks fall out of the sky. And all Alan's worried about is missing out on the action? Exactly. Once we get that rascal back safely, he's due for the scolding of a lifetime, if you ask me. I mean, hey, it's, it's the same thing as a wishing animation. Let's go find that rascal and right? drag him back by the ears. It's technically a meteorite falling from the sky, and one of them shines, like, in a different color, and then we just go for it. That's him! Alan, what the devil are you doing? These slimes are so vicious! Do you think it has to do with the meteorite? The hour is still going to come. But the rest of your fate lie in my hand. You can use... Cartagna? Yeah. Yeah. Brace yourself. Alrighty. I thought I was going to die here. You fool. What were you thinking? Gallivanting off on your own at a time like this? I I'm sorry. I'll never do it again. I sincerely apologize for the trouble Alan has caused for you all. I will make absolutely sure that he learns his lesson. Yeah, next time you think about doing something stupid, think <laughs> again. But you're right, it's just over Alan's there. Alan's gonna go take a closer look. Huh? Princess, your vision is flashing. Oh. Could it be, perchance, that mine Edelstein der Dunkelheit portends the certain demise of this unholy hex of cold? Maybe it comes from her Maybe? world, the meteorites? What kind of things does your vision react to exactly? The profoundest of enigmas. The whispered secrets of the stars. Unholy hexes of demon bones and... <laughs> what? Why do you have to talk so funny all the time? Byron Our apologies. Main Fräulein is not well versed in the parlance of the common folk. That makes sense. Oh, so that's what you're for. To translate? I fear you misunderstand. I am no translator, but a humble conveyor of Main Fräulein's royal will. 
I would venture that what her vision is reacting to in this vicinity is, quite simply, elemental energy. That would make sense. <laughs> Thank you. Meteorites. Those elemental whose energy. minds are muddled by the mundane matters of this woeful world are unable to fathom my noble intent as swiftly as thou art. So, there's elemental energy in the meteorite, and your vision flashes in response to it? Hmm. Paimon thinks probably yes. Uh, anyway, no harm in giving it a try. Let's look for shards of meteorite using Fischl's vision. Clearing them away will help make the area less dangerous. How are we gonna clear it when we're not supposed to touch? Okay, so it's gonna be a search for the meteorites. I see, I see. I believe we have found something. That seems to be the last of them. Do you think getting rid of them will help make things better for the Springvale villagers? Not if they keep falling. The question is, are these shards of meteorite, which are infused with elemental energy, the true source of the calamity, or not? Verily, I say. These meteorites are surely the source of the nefarious nightmares that assail my subjects. This I swear on my very sovereignty. Shall we check with the villagers yeah, then? Let's do that. The villagers are the victims? Oh, there's another one. Did he wake up? Edna! Uh, we got rid of the meteorite up on the hill behind the village. How are the victims doing now? Any better? Bless you. Thanks to your efforts, two of the victims have already awoken. Hmm. <sighs> I'm so sleepy. <sighs> I am very sleepy too. Great, so it did work. I do hope you are able to dispose of the rest of the meteorites around the village. <laughs> it's contagious. Then everyone this else will wake up. This is wonderful news. It gladdens the heart. It is most gladdening indeed. Yet the news that I would be attending to this matter <laughs> in person Girl. is surely the only guarantee that my faithful subjects ever I needed of a sure. felicitous outcome. Hey, you just woke up, right? And what were you dreaming about while you were asleep? All I remember is that it was cold. I was walking along a mountain path. In the ice and snow, I think. So, just hiking in the mountains? Or were you supposed to have a, a destination? Was all of this a teaser uh, for Dragon Spine? I really don't know. In my dream, it felt like I wasn't in full control of my actions. That's how dreams usually are. And thou wert surely cursed, I say. Oh, wretched scourge upon this land. A curse, could it really be? Well, Whatever the case, what we do know is that getting rid of the meteorite shards is helping. So come on, guys. We need to redouble our efforts. Mm-hmm. Oh, part one is done. Oh, that was very short. <laughs> the events were very short. I mean, current events are also very short. Some of them were very long, like the Interdarshan Championship the and stuff Winery, like that. Dear adventurers. I'm Adeline, the head housemaid, and it is I who invited you all here. All right. Thanks for the invite. Stay tuned, you business. You are Adeline. <laughs> Splendid. I am delighted to grant you the honor of joining me for afternoon. <laughs> Dearest Adeline, on behalf of Her Majesty Miss Fischl, the Princess in der Verotalung, and I, mine Fräulein's humble servant, thank you for inviting us. <sighs> Would you cut to the chase already? Your titles are so wordy it takes way too long to introduce yourselves. <laughs> My goodness, an adventurer of such distinguished status. My pale-faced proselyte, how dare you interrupt a diplomat of the royal court in the middle of his speech? Tell her, Pisho. Tell Paimon to not be rude. One of our employees here at the Dawn Winery, a Mr. Hartman, fell victim to the meteorite incident in Springvale. I hear that you are the ones who disposed of the meteorites. Thanks to you, Mr. Hartman is now awake. We are in your debt. 
It is merely common courtesy that I should invite you over for tea. This aside, there is a separate matter which I should like to enlist your help with. Aw, you're too kind, Adeline. We're really just doing what any other adventurers would have done. Mm -hmm. You may now kneel before your princess <laughs> and make effusive display of your thanks for the favor that I have generously shown to thee in thy winery ken. <sighs> Take heart, my dear servants, for the glory of my majesty will flash eternal in the veil of springdom. Flash eternal? Oh, guys, <laughs> hold off on the translation. Paimon wants to have a try this time. Um, so, what she's trying to say is, y you're welcome? I applaud your powers of comprehension, my dear <laughs> Paimon. Wow. You decipher mine Fräulein's royal utterances with remarkable ease. What is it you need the your help with? The winery reaches not only to all of Mondstadt, but to all the corners of Lua, too. Some of our workers do regular deliveries back and forth between the two regions. A single round trip taking several days in total. Two of our delivery staff were due back yesterday, but as of this moment, I still have no contact from them at all. I worry that they became trapped somewhere when the meteorite struck. The hmm. winery is short staffed at present, and I cannot afford to look for them myself. As audacious as it may be, all I can do is ask you for assistance. The music here is so good. Don't you worry, Adeline. We're expert people finders. Oh, wonderful. I suggest you begin by asking around at Stonegate. All delivery staff pass through there on their return from Liwa. There were two carts in total, and the workers' names are Fritz and Ben. We do everything in our power to find them. You scared me half to death. Thanks so much. If you hadn't happened to be passing through this way, I would have been a goner for sure. <sighs> so, which one are you, Ben or Fritz? <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, I'm Ben. Uh, how did you know my name? We're not just passing through your official search party. Per search Adeline's party. wishes, we came here specifically to find you and ensure your well-being. That is very true. Ah, I suppose she must have started worrying because of the long delay. One thing that I never understood about... Genshin Impact is like all of the people in Tivat know that there are dangers out there and they don't have like basic training against like slimes and stuff like that. It's it feels very weird to me. If I feel like if there was like, I don't know, a place where there's monsters, every step you take, it would have at least like some um crisis trainment where you just like Learn how to run or to distract them or just like basic defense stuff. I don't know. It's just like everybody is always being piled up by hilly churls and slimes. It's it's amazing. It's honestly amazing. If I saw a bunch of slimes running after me, I would just run for my life. I would not cower in a corner. I would just run. And they always like stop in their tracks and are like surrounded by slimes. It's just, it's just too funny to me. I'm afraid that Fritz's cart is stranded out on the main road between Dihua Marsh and Stone Gate. Mm. It got hit by a meteorite, so... What were you doing here? <laughs> anyway, we agreed that I'd finish the delivery and then bring someone back to fetch him. I just hadn't factored in the part about getting ambushed by monsters along the way. How? There's literally monsters <sighs> everywhere. I really hope Fritz is okay. With me getting delayed here, the poor guy's been out there a long time. Now, I keep worrying that the same thing will have happened to him. Can you guys go bring him to safety? Between Stonegate and Dihua Marsh, right? Leave it to us. Lead the way, my pale-faced proselyte. Oh? A sharp pain now afflicts mine aunt of the <laughs> Girl. Damn, he's on the floor. Oh my goodness, is look at who it is! Sleeping? So early in the so. game? I've tried everything, but he won't wake up. Huh. Looks like he touched the meteorite. What is he doing so Just early like the in the others. game? If by meteorite you mean the rock that struck the cart, worry not. I have dealt with that already using my magic. But by others, 
Do you mean to say there are others who have fallen into a similar slumber? Oh my god, okay, let me just say, uh, his outfit looks amazing like this. I wish they would release this outfit so I could buy for my wonder. I usually don't buy outfits in the game, but if they release this one, I am opening my credit card. It's so cool, though, to see that he appeared so early in the game and, like, there was no name, no nothing. I think, like, people did not know who he was before. It's really, really cool, because, like, I learned about him just by the trailers, uh, you know, when I was doing, like, reactions to trailers and stuff. So that's when I saw him, and he was already a released character back when that happened. I ended up getting him on my account, and he's one of my favorite characters in the game. So it's pretty cool to know that back in, like, one point whatever patch, he was already in the game, and everybody knows that Denzleaf is there, and that one day he will be playable. I don't know if it was the same situation with Wanderer, if, like, he was going to be playable already, like, if everybody had this expectation, but I would imagine so. One has witnessed with one's own Ogda Verertalung the nightmarish slumber that proceeds forth from the Valley of Demon Bone. It has caused great suffering for the humble peasants in the Vale of Springdom, many of whom still battle this wretched affliction even as we speak. Is he going to get annoyed with as her? As main Fulmine <laughs> most eloquently describes, we have just come from Mondstadt where many people have also fallen into an unwaking sleep. Their symptoms are identical to those of this poor gentleman here. Is that so? It appears these meteorites really made quite an impact. Because it's Genshin Impact, ha ha ha. dressed like a winery worker. And we've already met Ben. So this one must be Fritz. Given that worker's attire has precious few distinguishing features, I must conclude that Paimon is blessed with exceptionally acute eyesight. <laughs> Actually, Paimon's eyesight is normal. Paimon mm. just has a really great memory. You're right, though. His clothes don't really stand out that much. Especially not compared to this guy over here. I wish this outfit was playable, for sure. <laughs> and by this guy over here, you mean me. Yep. Paimon's never seen anyone dressed quite like me oh. before. Oh, huge hat is quite unique. I am a vagrant from Inazuma. I had just stopped to assist this poor gentleman when you turned up. Are you investigating the aftermath of the Oh, Inazuma was already mentioned back then yeah, as well. We were sent to help out. I am Fischl, Princessin de the Ertelung, responding to the cry of my people in their hour of need. Fischl, shush for a I little bit. I am Main Fräulein's <laughs> humble familiar, Oz the Raven. Girl, are you too goofy? Paimon is an honorary knight of the Knights of Havonius's best friend. Uh. Oh? Then you must be said honorary knight of said Knights of Favonius. Uh, yeah. I am the honorary Behold knight. my people. Honorary. Your beloved sovereign in the flesh. Do not despair. For judgment by thundering retribution is nigh. And it shall surely purge the seeds of nefarious nightmares that now sow chaos across the land. Um... Excuse me? <laughs> Don't mind her, just, you know, let her do her thing. She's a good egg, really? Excuse me, what's going on here? Nothing. There's just a guy oh, falling. Wait. Good thing you're here, Mr. Millilith. This guy's fast asleep and he won't wake up. Ah, it appears this is now in the hands of the Millilith. In which case, I am no longer needed. It was truly a pleasure to meet you all. I have other matters to attend to now. So I shall take my leave. Bye. Adventures. I wish you every success in your endeavors. He is being very nice Bye -bye. in here. Huh. That was the first so impression that everybody had of him, huh? Was we came here looking for someone and found them. <laughs> Thank you all for your cooperation. This victim is now in the care of the Millilith, and we will escort him safely to the disaster relief station. Disaster relief? You mean like a big tent with Is this guy outside? holding a black tassel? Correct. We have established a disaster relief station at Wangshu Inn, where the unconscious victims of the meteorite strike can receive due medical attention. A wise decision by the Millilith. Paimon can't stop worrying about poor Fritz. 
We should really go check up on him. Our job was just to find <laughs> him. I suppose I should <laughs> aim to join you for one further excursion. She definitely is like Farina multiplied by 10 in the way she speaks. Hmm. Yep. Same situation as in Springvale. This cruel curse of cold spreads without mercy. Oh, heaven on high, tell us how we have angered you so. Hey, keep your voice down. There are a lot of people here. <laughs> they are always Might leaping. Might I suggest we make some inquiries and see where it takes us? They are sleeping. How are they gonna wake up if it's like the meteor meteorite kind of thingy? Like, it's not going to make them wake up. Halt! Who are you? Wow, calm down. We've been commissioned by the Adventurers Guild to investigate the meteorite strike. Do you mind if we take a quick look at this victim? I see. Very well, Adventurers. You may take a look. He shows no signs of waking. Paimon wonders what he's dreaming about. Hmm. Probably that one about the mountain and the ice and snow. Fritz does not appear to be here. Let us keep looking. Fritz, there is Fritz. They're probably gonna show Fritz the last, right? It's another sleeping victim. His soul is in anguish, ensnared by a thousand thorns. Oh, his suffering is pitiable. May he soon know peace at last. Peace at last? Um, surely you don't mean my dog was Main going Florian insane outside. Wishes him a speedy recovery. Beyond this, there is no hidden meaning to her words. Good. Come on, Fritz. Where are you? Or Fritz. Okay. Is that him? Another sleeper. It's not him. Interesting. Most unfortunate. Crucified to a cruel cross of calamity by barbaric blades born of some baleful blasphemy. You have to find a way to wake everybody there up. There is but one means of awakening those who slumber. And that is to rain down thundering retribution. Precisely, main Fräulein. If we dispose of the meteorites, the sleepers will be sure to wake. Didn't I wonder so mention weird. that he did? That Milliliff guy or was just in the he area. Was gonna bring Fritz here, didn't he? So why can't we find him anywhere? Maybe it was not Milliliff. Mm. Let's go see what the innkeeper has to say. Oh, maybe they just took like Fritz for experiments <laughs> in Dragon's Fine. Have you seen anyone come in that looks like? An ordinary worker from Mondstadt? Yeah, the Millilith arrived with several new victims not long ago. Due to the limited capacity in the tent, I had to place the new arrivals in the upstairs guest rooms. Okay. Okay. Well, could you give him a message when he wakes up? Tell him he needs to get back to the Dawn Winery as soon as possible. And let Adeline know that he's safe and sound. <sighs> I will be more than happy to. You don't sound and happy. If I may be so bold, adventurers, I too have a request for you. Please tell us, what is troubling you? Pray tell of thy troubles, that one might better understand them. I understand from the mill of the soldiers that you are investigating the meteorite strike. We sure are. This made me wonder, perhaps my friends from Mondstadt have already found a means of curing the victims. From what we've seen so far, all you need to do is get rid of the meteorites and the sleepers way back up again. Is that so? Then, if I understand you correctly, the meteorites are the cause of the victims' unconsciousness? Yeah, if they touch them, right? Yep. 
In that case, I would like to enlist your services in that regard. Do you think you can dispose of the meteorites in the vicinity of the inn? Oh, wonderful. You have my gratitude. Okay. We are going to search for meteorites, apparently. <laughs> Look at Guoba. This doesn't end here. Harbingers nearby. You'll get what's coming to you soon enough. So the Fatui are investigating the meteorites as well? Even the Harbingers? This is too strange. We need to be extra cautious. I mean, of course they would be interested in the meteorites, right? The seeds of nefarious nightmares appear to have taken firm root. Though my magic arrow of midnight purges them in an instant, they return with a vengeance. <sighs> it would make a mockery of the majesty of the Princessin de Fertilung. Hmm. Indeed, main Fräulein. Despite our best efforts to dispose of the meteorites, they continue to fall relentlessly in each corner of your vast domain. We need domain. to find the root. In which case, I fear of where they are falling from. Strikes are happening faster than we can get rid of them. We need to find another solution. I, Fischl von Luftschloss Nofedort. Every time she has a new name. A thousand worlds, <laughs> and yet never before have I faced such a formidable foe. This menace is neither monster nor magic. It is a curse, I say. A curse has been placed upon the mortal realm. A curse? Such a foul curse could only arise as a consequence of the continuous cries of unanswered longing. Lost amidst the unpredictability and impermanence of fate. How very tragic. Is this the inevitable fate of mankind? It's not. It grieves me greatly. It's gonna be fine. No matter how many times I hear of it. Paimon didn't quite get the part about the thing being lost inside the other thing. <laughs> Basically, these meteorites are a curse? Were they not a curse upon humanity? Why then should they send humans into slumber? <sighs> To be lost twixt life and death in an unending dream. Tis the most dreadful fate imaginable for any living being. Could what Fischl says really we be true? Must underestimate the magnitude of this matter no more. I fear this sinister force can withstand even the sum of all of our powers combined. Damn. Traveler, fetch me the one fated to face this fearsome foe. And... Who might that be? Main Fräulein is of the opinion that one with the requisite expertise should be summoned to deal with this matter. She wonders if you know of any person skilled in the undoing of curses? Xiao. Um... Uh, Paimon can't think of anybody <laughs> either. Probably Xiao can't, but you Maybe know. Maybe we should just go ask Catherine. Any opportunity to get Xiao into a event? hour of destiny is upon you. I have invoked the sacred covenant between us, and now you must respond to the call. Wow. Hmm. Let me see. Are you saying you require an assistant? <laughs> Whoa. She got in at one. Catherine must be super smart. You know anyone with any expertise in curses? Damn, no, that was so I fast. Do know of an astrologist. Oh god. As it happens, the traveling astrologist Mona is currently in Mondstadt. Do you know her? No, Mona! <laughs> she ruined well, like things. four of my 50-50s. Please wait. I will fetch her right away. Not her. <laughs> Could have been anybody else. Someone looking for me? Who is it? You're Mona! Oh, it's you. So, what did you want? Astrology is an ancient and mysterious art. If your problem is a banal one, you can count me out, as I have better things to do. I wanted to stop raining my 50-50s, so, thank you. Here's what's happened. I never noticed that her hair like has an accessory in the ends. I never looked at her properly and because like she keeps raining my life. The meteor shower. 
This I was not expecting. The darkness consumes every corner of the land. And in the fading twilight, only the princessin and her retinue still stand. Ms. Mona, your means are most crucial to our ends. Huh? Are you all together then? I mean, duh. <laughs> I am Fischl von Luftschloss Nafodot, Princessin Dörfer Ertelam, and I hereby extend to you the great honor of joining my retinue. Princessin Dörfer Ertelam. I'm sorry, which nation are you a princess of? I hail from a distant and long lost land known as the Immanachreich. The in my what? Right? <laughs> <sighs> in my what, right? Precious few mere mortals know of the Immernachreich. Oh, mere mortal? Do you have any idea who you're talking to? I am a highly accomplished astrologist, thank you very much. Just give the me physics one are going crazy box. whenever Mona is then in we'll screen. See where exactly this homeland of yours features in your personal history. Ms. Mona. I humbly beseech you to refrain from probing the question of Main Fräulein's homeland. Oh. Revisiting the tragic tale of that world's demise always causes her much anguish. Fisher was in Honkai Impact Third, right? Surely a wise mage such as yourself can sympathize with a princess's grief for her lost kingdom. No. But <laughs> sorry to interrupt the work is our priority right now yes you're quite right so the goal here is to get all the sleepers to wake up am i right they need help yes understood all right then don't you worry i will lend you a hand will she be able first to track first, though we need to get out of the city there's too much magical disturbance here Let's head somewhere where the ley line flow is a little smoother. Do you know where that is? I guess she's probably going to be able to track the source. Wide open space, clear sky. This will do nicely. I will now begin the process of hydromancy. Stay back. And do not impede my vision. <laughs> this is actually the first time that I'm seeing her in action doing anything. Because, like, I didn't do her story quest. And I saw her briefly in other places, but not really, like, in depth. Whatever it was you just did, it looked awesome. Oh, Astral Emissary. Have thine eyes now discerned the secrets of the stars yeah what did you find out how strange i've never seen this before what have you seen the divination shows that these meteorites came from someone's constellation oh constellation but they don't have anything to do with real astrology do they that's what most people tend to think, but I've studied astrology for a very long time and I know a few things about them that you might not. The stars that make up a constellation, the Stella Fortuna, are genuine celestial bodies in the depths of space. They are not simply notional. Oh, is this explanation of like the constellations of characters? They turned to meteors all of a sudden and fell from the sky. Why this happened, I am not yet sure. I need some time. A curse! A wretched curse, I say! Vishal, let her speak! I, too, have journeyed to the stars, gazed beyond the veil of darkness, and glimpsed a shred of the truth. <laughs> there, I saw a world cursed by human malice. Her head probably Only hurts. Only one who died the most agonizing of deaths could leave behind such a vengeful spirit. We must interrogate the population. Find the doer of this diabolical deed. The one who created this sinister specter is the true killer. That is going too Sorry, far. I'm not quite following you. What curse and what killer? Uh, don't take every word she 
she says too literally. What's going on here? Why are the Traveler and Paimon frantically <laughs> Fisher is full of uh, enthusiasm, mysteries. Oh. oh, I understand. Thou dost? <laughs> Marvelous! The Astral Emissary understands at last. Mutual understanding is the crucial first step towards effective teamwork. <laughs> I don't think she understands, but... Welcome to the team, Mona. You are hereby appointed as an honored servant of the Princessin. Unleash thy power in service of our solemn duty to dispel this darkness once and for all. Honored? <laughs> you should feel honored to have found me. Without me, you'd be doing ten times the work for half the results. Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Paimon likes you, Muna. You seem like the real deal. Oh, Paimon likes somebody. Damn, that well, is a I'm surprise. I'm glad you agree. Feel free to keep the compliments coming. With my astrolabe, I have ascertained the trajectory of fate. Next, I'll calculate the locations of the fallen meteorites. It wouldn't for be better to calculate where they're I'll coming need from. I'll look into the constellation issue in more detail. In the meantime, let me know ASAP if you find anything else out. Your star, Mona. Thanks Don't so much. Don't worry about it. As far as the astrological aspect goes, this will be a piece of cake. All right. The crisis deepens. Chat with Mona about the meteorites and crying. Did she find something else? Hi, Mona. Thanks to you, we've managed to get rid of loads and loads of meteorites. Ah, good timing. There's something I need you to do. Remember how I was saying that the meteorites belong to someone's constellation? Yes. Theoretically, it's not possible for stars that are goodness knows how many light years away to suddenly turn into meteors and fall out of the sky. But, however paradoxical it may be, this is the reality. If we want to get to the bottom of this, the best way is to find out whose constellation it was. Yeah, that would be the best what option. You told me, it seems that all victims of the meteorites fell into a deep sleep and all of them dreamed of a snowy mountain. Now, we may not know which mountain this was, but we can safely assume that it's not Dragonspine. Why? Otherwise, someone would have recognized it, right? Interesting. Did everyone definitely have the same dream? And where exactly were they in the dream? These are the questions that we need answers to. I thought for certain it was I Dragonspine. I need you to find out more details about the sleeper's dreams. The more information we have, the closer we can get to the truth. Seems we should head somewhere with lots of people around. That way... We should be able to find more victims to question. I need to stay in an undisturbed environment. So I will leave the investigating to you. Alright. Is there anywhere that we haven't been to yet? There is Chinksa village in Liwa. Although it does not usually match your suggestion of somewhere with lots of people around. There is like Liwa Harbor. That said, I suspect that the Millilith will have turned that area into a site where victims can receive medical attention. Much as they did at Wangshu Inn. Hmm. That makes sense. Talk to the Millilith. Guild. Can you tell us if Chingsa Village has been affected by the meteorite strike? Adventurers! Perfect. I was beginning to despair at the lack of helpers. Oh? These meteorite strikes have been going on for days now. Don't even get me started on how much trouble Imagine it's Imagine if caused. they fall on somebody's head. If one lands in a field, <laughs> they would truly no be dead. to go and harvest the crops. And if one lands at the entrance, access is a complete nightmare. Alright. Do you have any ideas on how to safely dispose of them? They're just making everything impossible. I take it since your village has been affected. We better them. help this guy out. Oh, Fisher did not come with us this time. Dispose of the meteorites in the fields. Done and dusted. Wonderful. Oh, what a huge help. Have any of the victims woken since the start of the incident? 
Oh, I wouldn't know. You're better off just taking a look for yourself. <laughs> you don't even check if they are awaking or not. Wow. Bro is just standing there. It seems like they are still sleeping. Mortal, art thou also descended into the realm of suffering? Same situation that we've seen in other places. But if we dispose of the meteorite. Hey there. Has this guy woken up at any point? They were supposed to be waking no. up, right? He has said a few things in his sleep though. Hmm. What kind of things? So cold, can't go on, things like that. Somewhere cold, up in the mountains. Where could it be? If, I don't think there's another cold mountain in Tivad besides Dragonspine, from what I remember. At least for now. There is, right? Hey, has this guy woken up at any point? <sighs> Not so far. Mm. Okay. Um, has he said anything in his sleep? Now that you mention it, yesterday he suddenly cried out so high. Who knows what he was dreaming about? About a cold mountain that oh, is very high. high. High as a snowy mountain peak, maybe? A wicked mountain. Its frozen peak looming high. Home to a malevolent power. I was wondering where Fisher Let's was because she was too to quiet. That guy over there next. It's the last guy. Oh, he's awake. Gal the sixth Hello. is awake. Have any of the victims woken up? Just look to the side, you're you gonna see. Gal the Six literally just woke up. All right, we're gonna go talk to him. If he is not fine, unwell. But he's only yep. just awoken and is still very weak. If you must question him, please be gentle. That's what I thought, that's what I said. Bro Huang. Greetings, you who have suffered and lived to tell Dad the is not gonna help him. Your sovereign shall question you now. Don't let Fisher question Food. him. <sighs> Need food. He's hungry. Are you okay? Sounds like you're starving. <laughs> the Millilith did not give him food while he uh, he wake up woke up. Uh I need uh, home uh, home cooking. You are asking home too much, sir. From Chingsa Village? Well that can only mean one thing. Farmer food. Just give him like whatever food. <sighs> That's brought me back from the brink, that has. <laughs> Did you have a dream while you were sleeping? Only the most exhausting dream of my whole life. Damn. Really? Why? What happened? Were you on a mountain outside in the snow? Yes. How did you know? Way up in the mountains, the highest mountain I've ever seen. It was freezing up there. Maybe it's not even a real mountain. What were you doing there? It's a Bellabog sure. from Honkai Star Rail. Like I was <laughs> I'm just kidding. Possessed. I was consumed by the idea of climbing up the mountain and trying to reach the summit. Huh. Was there something special at the summit? Or... Who knows? Honestly, it's like I became a completely different person in my dream. <sighs> Don't ask me why. I have no idea. So it wasn't you who wanted to climb the it's mountain? hard to describe. It's like I was being controlled, as if somebody else put the idea of climbing the mountain into my head. I know how crazy that sounds, but... I mean, dreams are very intruder, rational sometimes. Trespassed in the dark recesses of your soul? An idea not autonomously generated by the individual, but that appeared within the subconscious. Yes. <laughs> The signs do indeed point towards mind Things control. Things you say are not even remotely similar. All the other victims we've met have talked about being cold and needing to rest. 
Were they all climbing the mountain too? How can they all have been having the same dream? Paimon doesn't even want to think about it. We need to update Mona on all of this. Let's go. Hello, Mona. Mona! We found some stuff out. An ice-capped mountain looms over the world from far above the clouds. That is the place from which this burgeoning darkness proceeds. Ice-capped mountain. Is that all? It's the same ice-capped mountain in everyone's it's dreams. A really, really high mountain that no one's ever seen before. And it's super cold up there. The sleepers are forced to try and climb to the summit, but they don't know why. Climb the mountain to the summit. Is there any other sort of icy person mountain? would wish to reach the summit of that mountain? And how is their desire strong enough to exert an influence on others? Mm. Perchance some poor soul lies there, buried in the snow, hounded to death on the mountain. Or some intrepid explorer was exceptionally keen to conquer that particular mountain. I'll do another reading. Okay. Hopefully we get some answers now. <laughs> the noises. Uh -huh. I see something here. It's a little vague, but I think I can get his name. Ah, uh, yes. Leonard. Leonard? Wow, that was fast. Have we met any well, characters called Leonard? in case you'd forgotten, I am a genius. Leonard. Paimon's never heard that name before. Is it gonna be a random NPC yeah. that is going to be the source of everything? Hi! <laughs> oh, hello! Sounds interesting. Mind if I join you? <laughs> Hello, good sir. What ho? We meet again, favorite of Inazuma. What ho? My rat and I were just... Oh. Why? The first time the Millilith were present, I had to forego the chance to strike down Mondstadt's savior. This time was a perfect moment. I was mere seconds away. He was being fake, Scaramouche Balladeer. But who was that mage? Was he always the eleventh? I don't know who I am. Perhaps her powers are real to her things unseen. Soldiers! Sir. Sir! Find them. And when you do. Oh. Another one? My lord! <sighs> it's happening again. This is the largest one we've seen so far. They just keep coming, but so be it. Move out, change a plan. Your prior objective remains in force. Continue to research the meteorites. My lord, leave them to us. We will make short work of them. Oh, you sure Are won't. Are you deaf or just stupid? <laughs> when did I give you the right to issue your own orders? My, my apologies, my lord. Now move out and complete your objectives as assigned. All right, boss. Junior fortune teller could have told you this, but that man was a Fatui harbinger. That was too close. How did you manage to get caught up with a guy like him? A Fatui harbinger? Why, their wickedness knows no bounds. Harbinger, goodness. Was he Whatever the first he harbinger? Do, or like at this point you guys met child? For you. And he is an extremely powerful individual. I sensed it the moment I looked at him. He's far more powerful than you'd imagine. As much as it pains me to admit it. Surely his power cannot match that of the astrological genius of the century. He is a limited character and I she's a standard soul. His strength may exceed mine by a hair's breadth. But in astrology alone, he doesn't come close. Hmm. This reminds Paimon of something. We ran into some Fatui at Wangshuin too. 
What interest could the Fatui have in the meteorites? They must be plotting something. <sighs> maybe. Just maybe. The Fatui are kind of like oh, the rocket team in the Pokemon. The Fatui are the ones who caused the meteor shower in the first place. Was that it? Paimon, that was my line. <laughs> Sorry. Paimon's mouth just works so much faster than everyone else's. It's a part to summon and make sure a strike yeah. really exists. Where'd they get the power to pull stars out of the sky? Osvaldo Hafnavines? What is thy opinion? Osvaldo? I think that anything is possible, main Fräulein. That's his name? So long as they can afford to pay the price, they will never stop sowing their seeds of destruction across the land. Fatui, your sin shall not go unremembered. I also believe that miracles can happen. Astral Emissary, you have performed admirably as a member of my retinue. I will dispatch my forces to protect you, and they will ensure that the encroaching darkness shall bring you no harm. How? She means me. Oh, Oz. No need. Paimon thinks that our current lineup works just fine. No need to fix it if it ain't broke. That is very true. You underestimate me, Fischl. I'm far stronger than you seem to think. Main Fräulein trusts no one more than yourself, my lady. She is simply concerned for your well-being. There's really no need. In any case, you're in a much more perilous position than I am. If anything, you need my protection. Both are good people. Huh? What are you saying that for? For now, we must deal with the new threat. My astrolabe tells me that a new meteorite has landed, and it's the biggest one yet. It sure looked very, very big. Even Wonder was impressed. Oh, looks like we made it here. That's pretty cool. The Quick, there's no time to lose. This is the one. That looks really cool. I sense. An unprecedented amount of elemental energy. Oh, I wish I could experience this event. The very heart of darkness descends upon the world. Kind of sad that they don't reprise what events. What do we want with this? Is it the elemental power? It's possible. But if that were the case, other life forms would surely be drawn to the meteorite's energy too. Let's take a closer look. Oh, he ended? But we were supposed to take a closer look, huh? weren't we? Is Fischl waiting for us? Fischl is here. The time has finally come. Though it brings main Fräulein no joy to do so, there is something she must announce to the assembled populace. My loyal servants, one must bid you adieu till such time as I beckon you once more. Oh, she's Though leaving. Though we have faced many trials and tribulations together, you have all shown commendable courage in the course of duty. I feel a breeze now blows upon this place, and I feel that it blows in your honor. What? Huh? You're just gonna bail on us? Are you leaving? With the arrival of this giant meteorite, many more people have succumbed to the slumber. Strong as the soldiers may be, they are struggling to cope. And there is demand for volunteers everywhere we turn. Makes sense. Main Fräulein and I shall tend to the victims on the soldiers' behalf. The rest of this investigation we place in your capable hands. They're giving spotlight to Mona Goodbye. now, then. You are a good listener. I enjoy chatting with you. Aww, that's to be cute. Honest, most of the other adventurers in the guild only ever talk to me when they want to hear Oz's reconnaissance reports. This little journey we had, it was a great adventure. I'm just sorry that it has to end so abruptly. Huh? You're talking? 
talking a little <laughs> than you normally do. She's talking normal, actually. Oh. Yikes, what am I doing? I totally broke Oh, up. God, he was a character. What main Fräulein means to say is, is... Is that the mystical mysteries that vex and perplex are bound to be effortlessly extinguished by the advent of your commendable courage and wondrous wisdom. Oh, a saving face. Uh, and now Oz's translation is the one that sounds all kooky. Bye, mon shush. <clears throat> Let them be. <clears throat> Main Fräulein simply wishes to say that she has every confidence that you will arrive at the truth of this matter. Ahem. Most indeed. <laughs> My dear attendants, I hereby charge the Ritter Durva Ertelung with leading you out from the darkness back into the realm of light. Who are you calling your attendant? <laughs> thank you, Oz, and thank you, Fisho. We will meet again. Once this matter is concluded, I propose that we all get a drink together. <laughs> all right. <sighs> Well, now we're two people short. We should recruit more people then. But let's not get hung up about that. The good news is I found something else out. Mm. I shaved some dust off the meteorite and used it to do another reading. It was actually really effective. These rocks have been around for hundreds, maybe even thousands of years. Leonard must have lived a very long time ago. The meteorites carry his will and can pass it on to others. In other words, centuries on from Leonard's life and the strength of his will is not diminished one bit. Interesting. A guy from the distant past with a burning ambition to scale the highest mountain. I'd be willing to bet that he was an adventurer. Just like you. But why his constellations are falling an now? Adventurer? That does explain his obsession with mountain climbing. Our approach so far has been too passive and time has been against us every step of the way. We need to change our strategy, and we need to attack this problem at its source. Do you find where it is? From now on, we need to put Leonard at the center of everything we do. Look at the yes. little bird in the back. Because if the meteorites carry Leonard's will with them, then it's precisely as Fischl said. The rocks are, in a sense, a curse. I'm a little incredulous, but it turns out her blind guess was actually spot on. No, I'm a respectable astrologist, and I shouldn't stoop to that kind of criticism. <laughs> anyway, all we need to do now is remove the curse. Let's do it. Okie dokie. Since we've got a historical adventurer on our hands, Paimon thinks we should pay a visit to the Adventurer's Guild. To tell Katerine our new findings? <laughs> Let's tell her. Our records show that there have been many adventurers by that name over the years. It is impossible to know which one you refer to. Yeah, that would make sense. However, Leonard seems a common name. I do name. recall that there is a book in the library authored by someone called Leonard. Perhaps you should take a look. Oh, Paimon's inside the, the thing. Is Lisa gonna be here? Author Leonard. Where are you, Leonard? Aha! Gotcha! Hmm. The index says that Leonard's book should be in the northwest corner on the top floor of the library. Let's get it. Northwest corner. Should be right over there. There's just too many books. I would probably give Leonard. up trying to search. Of mountains and seas. A guide for adventurers written by Leonard. But oh. the words have faded. And there are even pages missing. Paimon's got no hope of reading this. Interesting. Why would it be like that? And it'd still be kept in the library. Darn. Maybe we're just wasting our time on this one. Isn't there a copy? Don't give up. Let's see what Mona oh, says. Oh, right. Yeah, Mona. She might have a better idea. How did the book get in such bad condition if it was in the library? They're not taking care of the books. Hmm. 
Look what we found. Leonard wrote a book. Ooh, let me see. I mean, there's no way to know if this is like the Leonard that they are looking for. It's quite incoherent as there is a lot missing. I could have predicted as much. Mm. Your average astrologist would definitely give up at this point. But I am Mona, progenitor of the future of astrology. Nothing can stand in my way. I simply need to deduce the missing portions with my astrolabe, write them in, and then decipher the text. Mona studies the book intently. <sighs> Finished at last. So what does it say? Just as I thought. Leonard was an adventurer who lived 2,000 years ago. His lifelong dream was to reach the summit of a mountain called Pylos Peak. Oh, where does it is? 2,000 years? So the constellation that caused the meteorites is from 2,000 years ago? Somehow, for some reason, this constellation was summoned down from the sky. I suspect that the Fatui have something to do with that part. How would they be able to summon the constellation? So Whenever something shady happens, you can bet the Fatui are involved. Like Wonder was also trying to know what happened. Elemental energy, which radiates out and lulls people to sleep by some means akin to hypnosis. And if I'm guessing correctly, there should be some sort of core meteorite among the bunch, within which is a crystal that harbors Leonard's spirit. How will we find it? Well, if I were Leonard. I would want to make sure the core lands right on the snowy summit that I never made it to while I was alive. Hmm. So, the core should be at the top of Pylos Peak? Where is that? Paimon's never heard of it before. Maybe it was Dragon's Spine it's before it was named Dragon's Spine. Too. So, I compared the map from the book against the current topography of Mondstadt. Uh... Apparently, Pylos Peak? no longer exists that makes sense because are you trying to say that the tallest mountain paimon's never heard of just yeah disappeared two thousand years i once read somewhere that the animo archon barbados once used his divine power to mobilize the winds and blow the ice and snow from the face of the earth the whole landscape of mondstadt was changed in the process why venti would do that the mountains of that age were replaced by the vast stretch of ocean we see today Still, a mountain that high, drop it into the ocean and it'll still leave a trace. The summit still reaches just above the water's surface. So the place known as Pylos Peak in Leonard's day is today known as Musk Reef. Hmm. Where exactly is Musk Reef? Oh, so this is Pylos Peak. Not much to show for itself now, eh? <laughs> Looks like someone beat us here. Oh. Is this like a popular tourist spot or? That is Wanderer. Scaramouche. Uh, it's you. Uh, uh. <laughs> huh? You again. How did you find this place? Look at the state he's in. Was he in that dream just now? He managed to extricate himself from the dream on his own strength? How is that possible? <laughs> Just because you are powerless to do something does not mean that I am. Calm down. You're too late anyway. I finished my research. Care to share we knew with it. the class? This is all a dirty trick by the Fatui. Save it. No more fun and games for me today. I'll come for you when I'm good and ready. Wait, what are you trying to achieve? You entered the dream they've all been having, didn't you? How much do you know about Leonard? Leonard? Who's Leonard? Ah, uh, whatever. I have bigger <laughs> fish to fry. Wait, what information I've did he find? I've something far more important. And far more terrifying. What? What is it? The stars. The sky. It's all a gigantic hoax. A lie. The stars are a lie? <laughs> what are you talking about? Is this some kind of astrological debate between you and Mona? Because if so, surely you can come up with a better argument than the stars are a lie. Seriously, 
Who's gonna fall for that one when you can just lift your head up at night and see them up there twinkling away? I mean, we can't touch or see them <laughs> properly. <laughs> you are so naive, it kills me. Still, can't really blame you. After all, I used to believe the same thing myself. Up until a few moments ago, that is. A few moments ago? You mean... Look, I really don't have the time to do this right now. What was the Jester thinking? He must have had some inkling of what we might discover on this mission. Would it really have been so difficult to give me a little forewarning? <sighs> or maybe he just wanted to give me a fright. The Jester is... Time for me to Captano? go out and find the truth. So long. Suckers. <laughs> oh god, he did not say that. Oh, can you believe that guy? He calls us suckers and then he just trots off. No one disrespects me. No one. Oh. Time to show them what you Oh, it's Mona show. Okay. genius with pure unadulterated flavor. Wow. You fought so fiercely. Told you. That's what happens when you disrespect me. Oh, now you are a force to be reckoned with. That's not true. Paimon, you agree too, right? Did I show those Fatui who's boss or what? Sure did. Without you here, those guys would have caused us a whole lot more trouble. See? How do you like that, Harbinger? Scumbag. <laughs> they <laughs> they have beef shaken, now. Though. Would be nice I to see them interacting again after everything. I was huh? always taught to talk about the false sky during astrological readings. Could there be more to such phrases than I have been led to believe? False sky. <laughs> I digress. Come on, let's finish the job we came to do. But I I've heard Whoa. talks of like Tivat's this sky be not being cause. real. It looks totally different from all the other meteorites. But I don't think they ever elaborated it's further, weird. right? Shiny. This stone harbors an unbelievable amount of elemental energy and human desire. It's the coral, right? Should we destroy it? Yes. Otherwise, the victims will never wake up. This core is the root cause of everything that has happened. <sighs> Do it! Oh! Did they destroy it? With ropes. We can oh, scale Leonard. mountains. With boats, we can sail the seas. By age 40, I had conquered every last domain. Pylos Peak alone defeated me. Oh, did he die on Pylos Peak? As an Peak? adventurer. And, well, maybe in other ways, too. Now, I am approaching the end of my life. Many times I have sat and stared up at that peak as the boundless snow slowly engulfed me. Oh, that's so it rough is a beast way to go. Without weakness, the merciless face of the world, it fills me with fear. And when an adventurer loses courage, they can no longer climb mountains. My mountaineering days may be over. But I have a greater ambition now. Oh, he did Humans not die there. tools then. to conquer nature. And when nature conquers them in return, they create better tools. Where our legs cannot take us, maybe our tools can. And when tools fail us, perhaps wings can carry us instead. My dear friend, I leave you my designs for the wings of incompletion. Against the unknown, humanity stands as one. To be alive is to seek, to set foot in every place that the eye can see. Was he the creator I of the have wings? Little time remaining. Wind gliders? Though the wind has not yet come for my soul. But between us and your children, students, and friends. I believe that someone will reach that place at last. I mean, you did. Eventually, you did. But you're not alive anymore. Wow. Well, that was unexpected. 
Pine were determined to reach the highest peak. Determination so strong, he wished to. I couldn't read. The will can survive in the skies for millennia on end. Astrology really is an incredible thing. Uh, what makes you say that? The ability to communicate with the stars can give you access to all the secrets from throughout human history. Though, of course, very few astrologists ever reach that level. Thank you for s your assistance. Uh, what's with the formal tone all of a sudden? <laughs> and speaking of formal tone, what is the deal with that girl, Fischl? She's a curious one. She's just a bit goofy. But she's so fine. Too. She's so... She's... Put this. She has a wide imagination. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they picked the wide imagination. Although if you think about it, it seems she was right all along. Is she one of these people who uses the wrong method but still gets the right answer? You may well be right. I mean, maybe she she feels so, things differently. Pylos thinks that the most surprising thing of all was how Pylos Peak oh, the abyss. into a teeny tiny Spiral abyss. island. A mountain of yesteryear now sits as an island in the sea. Almost anyone from Mondstadt could reach it now just by jumping in a boat. In other words, everyone can climb Pylos Peak now. Everyone can stand on the top of the mountain. Do you think? Leonard would be happy about it. The situation with Pylos Peak might be a bit of a shock. But now, with the help of the Animal Archon, the people of Mondstadt are able to glide. With wings, people can travel further and higher than ever before and explore new and unknown places. Leonard, is your wish now fulfilled? The victims should finally start waking up. Now that we've dealt with the core. And we have finally finished our commission from the Adventurers Guild. Hey, we did it. There is there's a bunch of videos happening where ancient stars align. That was nice. That was a pretty cute event. So we got so I think that was the first mention of the sky in Tivat being fake and the first time that Wonder appeared in the game as well. Which is very interesting that he appeared so early on. Like, nobody had any idea of who he was when he introduced yourself. And he had like this first impression of being like a nice person and then all of a sudden just like so long suckers. <laughs> That's definitely Wonder for you. But yeah, it's very nice that they were talking like about lore in depth i thought this was going to go a completely different direction but it ended up being about uh somebody's wishes and like i still believe there's more things related to the abyss though like wonder discovered something i don't know if they further into that after a while um i don't believe so but he has the knowledge that this guy is fake and i wonder what that entails like is does it mean that Tivat is not actually a world? I I don't know what that actually means. But yeah, I wish to see Mona and Wonder interacting now that Wonder is a completely different person. I don't think they had any interactions <laughs> uh, in recent events. We see him in the Interdarshan event, which was like most recent three point something event. And that was very nice. I would love to see like Fisho and Mona interacting with him again to kind of like have an unreconcile the stars 2.0. I mean, like probably would be in like five point something, but you 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 get my meaning. Yeah, this event was really nice to watch, and I hope that you guys got a bit of nostalgia by reliving it. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. I think the next ones are Albedo events, so I will see when I will record them. But thank you for joining me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time. Bye guys.